Welcome to this introductory walk around of this uh, most advanced and sporty Civic ever. So what we'd like to do is take you around the, from the outside of the car. We can show you the sleek lines of the vehicle. When we get inside, some of the comfort and convenience features and also take you through the technology we've got in this car. The sleek looks of the Civic are evident whichever angle you look at the car from. So at the front we can see the uh, almost aggressive look to the front of the vehicle and then we can see those that go into smooth lines uh, around the side of the vehicle. This is all adding to the overall lack of drag as we're going through the air, keeping it really, really efficient. Adding to that efficiency, we've got two spoilers at the back, which are going to aid stability and again, reduce the amount of drag that we've got going through the air, keeping it as efficient as possible. If we take a closer look at the wheels on this Civic, we'll notice we've got really attractive, sporty 17-inch alloy wheels. On the edge of the wheel arch, you'll also see a little light. This is like a side marker to keep you more visible to other road users, and this will be on all the while you're driving the vehicle. The front and rear parking sensors on Civic give you that extra little bit of information when you're driving in or reversing into a parking space. Now, these will give you a really useful audible note to give you a visual representation of what's behind. We have a rear view camera and you have a choice of views and also a choice of dynamic or fixed lines to help you get into those rear parking spaces even easier. So the lighting on Civic is full LED. The indicators in the door mirrors and the front lighting system, all LED. Indicators, dip beam, main beam, daytime running lights. Now there are many advantages of LED. Uh, they give a nice bright light so you're more visible to other road users, keeping you safer. They will project a beam further into the distance so it's easier for you to see. And because they create more of a, a natural daytime light, it means that you're going to get less fatigue when driving at night. Also, they will illuminate quicker as well, which is really important because we have a feature on here called high beam support system, which will change from dip beam to main beam when it's appropriate. Again, keeping you safer on the road. For safety and also convenience, all of the Civics come with the sensing package. Now, this is a really comprehensive suite of features. Um, if we just focus on a couple of those, we've got things like lane departure warning and road departure mitigation. So, lane departure warning would do exactly as you'd imagine. It's going to warn you you're about to depart from the lane. So, the camera at the top of the screen is looking at the white lines and it can give you uh, visual, audible and even tactile warnings if you're getting a little bit too close to one of those painted lines. Now, road departure mitigation is a little bit different because that's going to work on solid lines. And what this can do is if it sees you getting a little bit too close or crossing that solid white line, it can actually use braking to encourage you back in to the lane to keep you nice and safe on the road. Now, some of the other features and functions of uh, sensing would actually use the radar, which we can see in the, the lower part of the bumper there. For the locking and unlocking of the vehicle, we've got a really handy uh, remote. Uh, and this car has got the, the jackknife key, but of course we don't need to use that because we have the buttons on the remote itself to unlock the car. So we can just pop over, doors open, and then use the button to lock it again. However, what we can do if we press the unlock button uh, once and hold it down for a second time, it'll actually wind down the windows for us. And if at any point we wanted to just have the windows halfway down, we'd have taken our finger off at that point. The other side of that is when you've left the car, so this would be used when you're approaching the car to let that warm air out of the cabin before you get in. We've now forgotten to put our windows up, let's say we lock the car with one press, but if we press it and hold it, it will actually fold the door mirrors in because they're electrically operated, as are the windows. For added convenience, you don't actually need to release the fuel flap from inside the car. As long as your vehicle is unlocked, you can actually press the fuel flap, it will pop open, and then you can see the capless refueling system. This means you don't even need to take a fuel cap off. Simply insert the fuel nozzle, do your fueling, and then close the cap. When we open the tailgate, which is really nicely weighted, you'll see how large the boot is. So at the moment, it's 478 litres and we can see a couple of things here. 
we've got the um, retractable tonneau cover and that's also adjustable so depending whether you want to put it from left to right or the other way around you can simply move that across um, as we move down you'll see the top tether points for child safety seats so if you had an isofix or i-sized child seat on the uh, the rear seats this is the point where you'd attach that down to make it even more secure so three points fixing the seat into the car then as we get to the boot floor, we can see that we've got underfloor storage here as well, which is really good, keeps things out of sight. Um, if people are looking through windows and you hadn't got the tonneau in place, but equally it just gives you that extra level of storage in the boot as well. Now we're in the car, you get a good sense of the amount of space that's available to use a passenger or obviously as a driver. Now there's plenty of legroom in the front and in the back, plenty of space inside the uh, the center console here that gives you a good sporty feeling because of the little bit of support that that's got there for you and internally for your cups and various bits and bobs now when we're looking forwards as a driver and a passenger we get to share this kind of flat dashboard uh, centrally mounted there is the connect unit as well for your infotainment now on that connect unit we've actually got lots of really great features uh, things from having Bluetooth connection for your phone and then of course you can answer or make those calls from the, the buttons on the steering wheel. We've got inbuilt sat navigation so we pre-install a Garmin navigation app on there for you and it allows you to choose between listening to music from a USB, through your phone or digital radio even. So there's lots of possibilities on there as well as the actual uh, driver information that you can get on that connect screen. Just below the connect screen are the controls for your climate control. Now this is a benefit over and above air conditioning because you can set the precise temperature that you want inside the cabin. However this civet goes one step further, you've got dual zone climate control. So the driver and the passenger can have different temperatures for their side of the car, making it perfect for everybody inside the vehicle. By our transmission controls we've actually got our electronic parking brake. Added to that, we've also put brake hold on there. Now, the reason for going for these features over and above a conventional cable-operated brake is it gives us space underneath for uh, charging points where we can run our cables up to charge our phone and place it in front of the transmission. So that's a really useful feature. But important for the parking brake, it's really easy to put on and take off. So there's no pressure involved at all. It's really, really light to use. And with the brake hold, it means that if you've selected that at the start of your journey, once you've come to zero miles now, the car actually holds the brakes on for you. And as soon as you want to drive away, it releases them. So a real great convenience and safety feature. So all of the information you're going to need as a driver is clearly displayed on the TFT screen straight in front of you. So we've got a nice digital display for the, the Speedo. We've got the, the fuel gauge, we can have uh, elements of adaptive cruise control or lane keeping assist system. We can actually have those indicated on there for us. But the most important thing is that our speed is straight in front of us. We've got our rev counter there as well. And if you are traveling abroad, literally at the press of a couple of buttons, you can change those miles to kilometers an hour, making it really easy to read. The econ button that we can see here allows us to get better fuel economy and lower CO2s when driving. And it'll do that by softening the throttle response, which encourages us to drive a little more economically. And also it can make the air conditioning and the cruise control more economical. Following on from the Econ button, we actually have another feature which by default is active, and that's idle stop. So the purpose of this is when it's appropriate, if you've come to a stop at set of traffic lights, for instance, it will actually pause the engine and as soon as you're ready to drive off it will restart it so this again is going to save you fuel and also co2 emissions and finally we have wireless charging available so for your compatible device while you're driving along you can simply place your phone on the pad just in front of the gear shift and it will be charging your phone while you're driving without the need for any cables So thank you for joining us on this uh, little walk around of the new Civic. So you'll have seen the, uh, the great lines of the car from the outside. We've taken you through the technology and the comfort and convenience features inside the car. 
Now, should you have any more questions, or I imagine a lot of you would like to take a test drive in the vehicle, please feel free to contact your local dealer and they'll be delighted to book you in and show you around the car further.